one of the things that I always did, even when I was teaching, <coughs> excuse me, even when I was teaching the summertime, I sent you a copy of my curriculum vitae. Um, every summer, I would go out, get a job at one of the local resorts, local clubs, um, just to hone my skills, just to make sure that I was up with, with things. I would either take a job as an executive chef or a, a head god manger chef or something like that. Um, so I always, I always worked. Um, it explains why I'm so, so tired. <laughs> I haven't worked since I was like 12. <laughs> but um, it's, it's so important that they take summer jobs, that they go out and they don't just take a summer job. They get a summer job in a resort area where they're, they're a fry cook at, you know, a clam shack somewhere down on Cape Cod. So they get the taste of it because in my mind, it makes no sense to spend the amount of money you're going to spend to become a chef and walk out in the industry cold and stand there and go, what the heck did I just do? What is this all about? What are you talking about Saturday nights? What are you talking about, you know, no Christmas Eve with my family? You know, and that type of thing. So I, I always strongly encourage them to work, always. When we were going to school, when I was going to school back in the 70s, in order for us to graduate, we had to log in, I can't remember the exact amount, 500 hours of field experience 